Here's the part that really messed with my head. So what makes Kruthni so special? Its orbit is absolutely insane. Instead of going around Earth in a nice, predictable circle like our regular moon does, Kruthni does this thing called a horseshoe orbit. When I first heard this term, I had no idea what it meant. But imagine you're looking down at the solar system from way above Earth's just sitting there, and instead of circling around us, Kruthni follows this weird kidney bean-shaped path that, when you map it out over time, looks like a horseshoe. Get this. The asteroid takes approximately 770 years to complete one cycle of its horseshoe-shaped movement around Earth. 170 years. Your great, great, great times 30 grandchildren might see Kruthni complete one full horseshoe pattern. It's like the universe is playing the longest game of cosmic tag imaginable. Here's the part that really messed with my head. Kruthni orbits the sun in about one Earth year, just like we do, but it takes 770 years to complete this horseshoe dance around Earth so it's keeping perfect pace with us around the sun, but from our perspective it's doing this incredibly slow-motion cosmic waltz that takes nearly eight centuries to complete. And honestly it sparked some deep philosophical thoughts for me about what we even mean when we say moon. Technically speaking, Kruthni isn't really a moon in the traditional sense. It doesn't actually orbit Earth directly. Sometimes it's literally on the opposite side of the sun from us, completely outside Earth's gravitational influence. What's actually happening is both Earth and Kruthni are orbiting the Sun, but they're locked in what scientists call a 1-1 orbital resonance. I like to think of them as cosmic dance partners. They're moving to the same beat, staying perfectly in sync, even though they're not actually touching. And here's what really gets me from our perspective on Earth. It genuinely does look like Kruthni is sticking with us. Earth's gravity affects it just enough that we in this asteroid return every year to nearly the same place in orbit relative to each other. So while the textbook definition might say it's not a real moon, it's definitely acting like one in every way that matters to us Earthlings.